former Yemeni president Ali Abdullah Saleh was killed amid fighting between his supporters and their former allies, the Houthi movement, on December 4th. Until recently, Saleh loyalists had been fighting alongside the Houthis in a war against the Saudi-backed president, Abdrabu Mansour Hadi. But a dispute over control of the Yemeni capital of Sana'a on November 29 triggered armed clashes that have left more than 125 people dead. On November 2nd, Saleh offered to turn a new page with the Saudi-led coalition if it stopped attacking Yemen and ended its crippling blockade of the country. The Houthis accused him of a coup against an alliance he never believed in. Sources in the Houthi forces said that its fighters stopped Saleh's armored car with an RPG rocket outside of the embattled capital of Sana'a and then shot him dead. Sources in Saleh's party confirmed that he died in an attack on his convoy. His death marks a shift three years into a war which was in a state of a stalemate. It risks the conflict becoming even more volatile. Sali, a former military officer, became the president of North Yemen in 1978 after a coup, but when North and South reunited in 1990, he was elected as the first president of the new country. Sali was an important player in Yemen's descent into civil war when his reluctant departure from power by the Houthis in 2012 brought his Saudi-backed deputy, Abdurrabu Mansur Hadi, into office. The Houthis fought a series of rebellions against Saleh between 2004 and 2010. They also supported an uprising in 2011 that forced Saleh to hand over power to Hadi. But in 2014, Saleh forged an alliance with his former opponents, the Houthis, to facilitate their takeover of Sana'a and ultimately to force Hadi to flee to Saudi Arabia. While it lasted, the alliance was beneficial to both sides. Saleh used Houthi firepower and manpower, while the Houthis gained from Saleh's governing and intelligence networks. In late November, that equation changed as Saleh moved to increase his power in Sana'a and signaled that he was swapping sides, seeking a dialogue with the Saudis and their allies. In a speech on December 2nd, Saleh appeared to indicate the end of his loyalist alliance with the Houthi fighters. He said that he was ready to turn a new page in his ties with the Saudi-led coalition fighting the Houthis if it stopped attacks on Yemeni citizens and lifted a siege. For that moment, army units loyal to Saleh had been clashing with Houthi fighters for a few days already. The war in Yemen has hit a stalemate and it is hard to say which side is winning. Both sides cannot deliver a decisive blow to each other. Now, Saleh's apparatus will likely be weakened and the Houthis will become the only power in northern Yemen. On the other hand, the conflict between the loyalists and the Houthis is exactly what the Saudi-led coalition wants. Together, Saleh's forces and the Houthis were strong enough to hold on to Sana'a, repel the forces of the Saudi-backed government and its Gulf Arab allies, and to conduct constant attacks against Saudi-led forces in Yemen and even against targets inside Saudi Arabia. Now, the military capabilities of anti-Saudi forces will be partly reduced. Despite that, even if some part of Sally's former forces ally themselves with the Saudis, that by itself won't guarantee their victory. Indeed, this will mean that Yemen, a now near permanently unstable and divided state, will become an even more nagging of a thorn in Saudi Arabia's side with a constant threat of missiles and Houthi raids. Add to that a growing power of Hezbollah and Iran in the region and you get difficult times for Saudi Arabia. We uh, are preparing for the English news from Yemen Satellite Channel. 
when um, two U.S. Saudi aggression raids targeted the um, uh, channel headquarters, uh, resulted in the destroy of the um, uh, headquarter. Um, it seems that uh, it's a systematic destruction uh, target the um, uh, the local media, which um, 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 try to bring the uh, uh, truth and reality into the other world.